have to work on being our most authentic self. And when we haven't taken the time to heal and we haven't taken the time to understand what's going on with ourselves, with our own hearts, habits, and hangups, we aren't able to give and do our greatest work. Welcome to the Rise with Diana podcast, the podcast for working women leaders who are dedicated to doing their greatest work in a sound body, mind, and spirit. I'm Diana Patton, ex-corporate executive and civil rights attorney turned entrepreneur and business coach, helping working women leaders to gain the confidence to speak up and to advocate for themselves and take uncomfortable action through daily disciplined practices to experience true life success without sacrificing their sanity. It wasn't that long ago that I was taking things way too personal, secretly having something to prove, and doing my best to fake it like I had it all together. I thought the appearance of success was the glue holding my life together. But it was that appearance of success and hustling to prove my worth that was ruining my life. In this podcast, my goal is to teach you the tried and true secrets of living your greatest authentic life. You with me? Let's get ready to rise. Hey, sis, thank you so much for jumping right back into the Rise with Diana podcast. This brings me so much joy to know that you are here with me because to be honest with you, it makes me feel like we're building a community together. And you know what? We are the Rise with Diana community. I am so excited to share this topic with you because I believe that these two words are words that we need to normalize. We need to normalize these in corporate America today. And here they are. Healing and grace. I believe that we need to talk about the fact that we all need to come to a certain place of healing in our lives. I often believe that we need to incorporate the word grace into what we do and how we show up and how we speak to people and how we treat ourselves. And if you're going to see over time, you're going to see that healing and grace are two words, I believe, that should be action words that we should incorporate into our daily lives. And, And the reason why I say that is because most of us just keep going. We don't really look at the fact that we ourselves need to practice what we preach. Now, I will say from, for, for, and I'm going to speak about myself and, and maybe me sharing this story will, will give you some context, right? So for me, I was, of course, as you know from previous podcasts, dealing with some of my own trauma, dealing with some of my own hurts and having some bad um, hangups that I was dealing with, which interfered with my ability to do my greatest work. And as a result, I went into a profession that allowed me to be able to take these hurts and these hangups and put them underneath a license to do what it is that I thought was the best for justice. It was called being a lawyer. But because I wasn't taking the time to heal some of those hurts and habits and hangups, and because I wasn't giving myself grace, I was showing up in a way that was destroying myself, right? Because I was really not trying to get justice. As you heard me talk about in the Speak Up With Passion podcast, what I was really going after was revenge, I was going after the fulfillment of some of the wounds and that were not healed, right? I was basically going after people and talking to them in a way that was because of a a wound that has not been healed. It was seeping. And because I didn't believe in giving people grace, grace, and I will define it for you, it's giving people something giving people the opportunity, giving people 
a pass, like we talked about in the Speak Up With Passion podcast. Giving people space to have errors, to make mistakes, giving them the opportunity without judgment, and even giving them something like saying it's okay and it wasn't warranted, meaning that they didn't do something that deserved them being able to receive your kindness, receive your love, or to be listened to, right? That's grace. And when I was unhealed and consistently speaking out from behind those wounds, I was never able to give grace. You see, that is a problem. And we often don't talk about those words because they're considered soft kinds of things. These are little soft things that we need absolutely today. Would you agree with me? Would you agree that everything going on, it dep- no matter what time stamp you're looking at the world, we could always use more grace. We could always use more healing. Now, healing, when you say, oh, healing, are you, are you saying that I'm unhealed? Well, that's certainly an assessment that you're going to have to take on yourself. And in fact, we talk about this a lot in the Rise Advocates community. This is our Rise Advocates Academy, where we talk about this audit that we do in module one, right? Is we take time to audit ourselves, to really kind of look through our lives and see where is it that we're showing up and there's problems, there's dissonance. What I mean by that is there's an incongruence of the way that you say you want to be and the way you live your life, right? And so... I want to give you an understanding that, hey, I'm not alone in this. There's actually so many different types of polls, studies, and research that talks about the fact that employees are really stressed. We are really overwhelmed. We're overworked, and we don't really know how to come out of that. And there's a Gallup poll. It's called the State of the global workplace in 2023. And it examined how employees feel about their work and their lives. And and basically an important predictor of organizational resilience and performance. So when people feel stressed, when people haven't taken time to assess their lives and feel like they are in a space of, of contentment, and they feel like they've healed from some of the stress and the trauma. I mean, think about it. We just went through one of the most monumental times of our lives. We went through the pandemic. We went through George Floyd, um, social unrest. A lot of us have experienced people who've been in wars, right, in various parts of the world. And we have loved ones who come from those aspects of the country and they've lost their lives. You know, we don't take time enough to examine that environmental stress that comes with dealing with those kinds of things. And so when you're stressed and you haven't healed, of course you can't give grace, but then you also aren't able to provide what you can provide in your employment. And that, as the Gallup poll says, is a predictor of an organization's inability to be resilient and to perform at a high level. So I want to give you some things I really want us to think about. I want you to think about this as you are moving along and you're giving yourself some grace and healing. But I I guess I really want you as the Rise with Diana community to be the leader in changing corporate America in doing some things. So here's what I want you to do. Are you ready for this? Number one, normalize healing as a strategy towards success. (laughs) You're like, what? You see, when people hear the word healing, as I said, they often think of healing from a physical ailment. It's important for people to understand that we often have these mental scars from our past that impact us today 
and alter our ability to sustain a healthy outlook and well-being. Now I'll just say this. Well, some of these scars have made us who we are. And I'll be honest with you, my scars have made me who I am today. So while some of these scars have made you who you are today, they aren't serving you well today. More often than not, they are the cause for deep-seated hurts, habits, and hangups. And I want to tell you this. Patrick Lencioni wrote in this book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. He says that these hurts and habits, they cause what's called artificial harmony. And they don't allow your teams to function well. So the first thing, ladies, let's normalize healing as a strategy toward success. All right. So here's the second thing I want you to think about, ladies, because at the Rise with Diana community, we're all about taking uncomfortable action. Here it is. Number two, encourage and model grace as stress increases. You're like, dang, Diana, you really pulling it out today. Yes, we are. You see, when you think about grace, words like kindness, considerate, Thoughtful and understanding should come to mind, right? It evokes a narrative of something must be going on with that person, that they might be acting that way, or even yourself, which may cause them to do whatever they're doing. That may, for an example, even offend you, right? Most of us don't have an ounce of grace to give others because we more frequently and quickly identify with wrongs done to us in the past and exhibit anger, frustration, blame, guilt, shame, and we respond quickly with our venom because we don't know what the F is going on inside of us. We talked about that in one of our other podcasts. So here's number two. Encourage and model grace as your stress increases. Now, of course, this is going to really make you work on that behind the scenes practices, right? Because you're not going to be quick to give grace. Most of us are going to be quick to give anger, right? Or speak whatever it is that's going on for us. So we have to practice this grace, okay? Here's my last one. Healing And grace leads to vulnerability and trust. Let me repeat. When you work on your healing and you're able to give grace, it leads to you knowing how to be free and to have a more trusting, a trustworthy aspect of yourself. It creates this characteristic that you are trustworthy And you're able to be more vulnerable. So I I really want you to think about that because we all have to work on being our most authentic self. And when we haven't taken the time to heal and we haven't taken the time to understand what's going on with ourselves, with our own hearts, habits, and hangups, we aren't able to give what it is that we can give and do our greatest work in our workplaces, in our homes, and in our communities. Now, I know that this was a heavy podcast, but that's okay because we are really about getting down to the bottom of what it is that we need to do to show up with passion, to show up as our true authentic selves and do our greatest work. It sound good, sis? Healing and grace. I mean, you like, we are totally changing corporate America. That's what we are all about at the Rise with Diana community. Well, thank you, ladies, for being with me today. If this podcast is of value for you, please share it and tell other people about it. You know, I would love to hear from you. If you want to share a comment, let me know how these podcasts are impacting you. If you can rate it, We would love that as well. 
All right. Oh, wait. Did you take the Speak Up and Rise quiz? I certainly hope so. And make certain that you share that Speak Up and Rise quiz with your friends. Lastly, thank you, Mark. Everybody say, thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark, for putting this podcast together and Level 2 Audio. All right, y'all. Until next time, grace and healing.